Hello YouTube. I'll show you how to make a piece, sample piece to practice your welding on. So I cut that. That way you can make half a T joint or a quarter joint. This way you can make a lap joint. Okay, we sliced this with a cutter disc. It was actually 60 grit. Doesn't matter, 60 is thinner. Okay, we slice through here. Okay, so this would be the same as making a long butt weld. Now we're going to groove it with one of these on both sides, okay? And then we'll give you a picture when we weld one side so you can see what it looks like. We'll give you a picture after we grind this groove so you see the steps of it. Cut the slot, cut the groove. This way you can use a little bit of metal a long ways, like this. This was a butt weld. So was this one. So you can continue to do this. See, I just want to make a long one until I got to where I want to make a one long continuous weld. So, we'll make this real short. We'll show you the pictures. We'll bring you back when we're done welding a bead on here. Okay, I don't know if you're able to tell by the pictures, but I did get the groove a little too wide out here. But I took my grinder disc and widened it out, which actually was almost too wide, wider than he's going to butt weld. But then again, it depends on what you want. Which, it did lay in a nice bead. I mean, it's almost level. Down here, it kind of sunk in because it was too wide. I couldn't figure out, what's going on? It's disappearing. Well, I found out when I got done, it was just a little too wide. It was going through. But there you go. Simple way to make a test piece. Said, so, you can cut this again. You want you can chop this off, you can grind it down, you can cut this, and make another lap joint or something. But this wasn't a very big piece of metal, but it was a nice brand new piece of metal, clean, and that's what I want. I've been wire brushing this just with a brush on a drill before I show it. I want everything clean when I weld it, as clean as can be. I'm sure I'm going to be welded with flex core wire and not care what the metal's like. But with MIG and gas, I've been keeping everything exceptionally clean clean as possible so thanks for watching this little how to make a little test piece